Hi, I'm with Robert Sheehan Face. She Sheehan Face, you said? Yes. That's that the new... That's my full name. Oh, Sheehan Face. I dropped the face just to... Uh, yeah, just, just to make it simpler for all the teenagers. What's the biggest lesson you learned from being a part of the show and from being Nathan? Uh, don't be ashamed to fuck around and be childish. People are in a hurry to grow up, and that's the biggest shame of all, I think. You know, don't be afraid to be silly. That was genuinely something that, that I took away from the show. And as you can see, uh, <laughs> I um, uh, perpetuate that belief in everyday life. <laughs> Dicking, around. Dicking around. Having a laugh. It's great fun. What's the best language you've heard yourself dubbed in? I heard myself dubbed in Spanish once. And, you know, the language obviously is, is beautiful and sexy to listen to, but it was also the guy's voice was really deep. The guy was like, oh, hola. He sounded like the narrator from Pan's Labyrinth. So I've seen you, like, uh, play in Cherry Bomb by Riding and obviously Misfits. Um, oh, yeah. What's been, what's the role that you're most fond of to date? There's an Irish TV show that I did called Love Hate. Yeah. And... It, it holds a very special place, I suppose, in my heart because uh, because the show was 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 so successful in Ireland. You know, it was it, it, it became this incredibly culturally relevant thing. Uh, uh, you know, every Sunday night in Ireland, people were gathered around their televisions watching, like millions of people in Ireland, which is most of the people. You have a new film out, it's called A Need To Be. Would you be kind to tell me about it, please? A Need To Be is a story of a young woman who escapes uh, uh, at the end of the Second World War and goes to live with the only family that she has left in newly formed Czechoslovakia. And she quickly realizes that uh, in, to some extent, Jewish people have exchanged one tyranny for another. The kind of backdrop of the story is is uh, the borders of the countries of Europe reshifting, and uh, you know, various different races and sects of people being suspicious and hateful of each other? Obviously, your character uh, is a lead role alongside um, Eileen. Could you explain to me what what drives him? What's going on there? He's uh, he's a kind of a arrogant young gentleman who I think. Charms, charms our protagonist, Anita, into a relationship and um, I think kind of exploits her innocence to some extent and uh, through kind of a clumsy seduction uh, manages to get into her pants, both proverbially and literally. <laughs> and so, um, so we, uh, you know, and then kind of forces her to, tries to force her to do abhorrent things and uh, you know we realize it's because he has no faith in humanity. So working Roberto, um, what was it like? Roberto had, uh, cinematically, he had the film very much in his head before we filmed it and what was nice was that that, that he allowed myself and Eileen to, uh, to really develop all those scenes that display our dysfunctional relationship. Okay. You know, really go for it and, and you know, you know, it, you know, he very much put faith in us, which was nice. It's, it's, it's nice when a director does that because, you know, I would go to him and say, you know, I think Roberto, I think, you know, he's not, he's, he's kind of, he's kind of fronting it out here and he's battled out and I was throwing ideas at him and he'd go, yes. Yes, do as you feel, do as you feel. Yeah. And he's basically saying, yeah, I trust you to... Give it a go. Yeah, and myself and Aline, I think we did, some, we did some really good stuff, I think. He said I was like my character because I think, you know, Eli has a certain jovial exterior, you know, which is, I suppose, his armor, you know, it's his outward personality. Um, I think, you know, Roberto told me one of the reasons he cast me was because I was so cheerful. <laughs> I went... I don't know how to take that. You know, Eli can't be like a, a shadow of negativity. I think he has to be 
he had to be charming and you know uh, and then it's it's only subtly that you see the pain that he's dealing with.